All right, guys, I'm trying to uh, just keep this process transparent and updated. Uh, there's a patch that looks really good right now. I'm sure you can see it's sort of uh, starting right here. But basically what I've done is I, um, I realized nothing was happening as far as the buffing process on this trunk lid and there's some rough stuff. So I started thinking, hey, why don't I get a clay bar? And I got a clay bar and I used it on that and it seemed to like smooth stuff out. So then I couldn't resist going back to this area that I'd already buffed with wool with a clay bar. And I did it, but then it messed stuff up. It looked actually worse for a second. It made it look like this. I clay barred it and then I used like a McGuire's quick detail and wax. So then I was like, wow, now I need to go back and kind of redo the cool work I've done because I messed it up. Um, because, you know, I never clayed it. And I was like, well, wait a second, maybe I should have clayed it before doing buffing. But then I was like, I know the wool pad's aggressive. Why don't I take the orange medium to heavy cutting pad from Chemical Guys here and do some V36 polish with it and see if I can't, you know, just, I did that because I didn't want to dip back into a heavy wool pad after already taking a pass at this. And I gotta say, I think right now, if this can, if this stays, you don't really know. I think that looks really good on that, on that door section that had basically a combination of wool cutting pad, uh, finishing that off and then saying, oh, okay, whoops, I'm gonna do some clay bar and then trying to get off the clay bar residue with um, some McGuire's wax and then noticing it looked murky and ugly, kind of like this and then saying, wait a second, what if I got out the orange cutting pad again? And, you know, this might be the ticket. I might start clay barring the whole car, um, even though I've kind of done this side. We'll see how it lasts. There's another white patch here that I don't like. So, you know, it depends on if these results stay, but right now that section of the door looks excellent. And this hasn't even done the V38 with the white pad or the um, final wax sealant. So that is looking like some pretty good paint correction, to be honest. Um, you can make the argument that I've gone pretty heavy with a wool pad and then a orange pad, but hey, let's see if uh, it works.